you get that. How's the volume on this, guys? Sounds good? Excellent. I didn't even know that was a face. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get mid this game, so I more than likely might just play... Your mic sucks. I already know that. Unfortunately. Hello? Hello? I'm trying to eat my mic and hopefully it'll get better. This. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oops, it's recording. Hello? better. I hope I do well on the 30th too. Oh, Sounds fine to you. Good. used to be an, a Diana player, like a Diana only player, so I'm actually surprised she's going like 80 carry. Is it true you guys in the dick house called Kiwi Kid Han trash all the time? No, but we should start. That'd be hilarious. Is that game right now? Yeah, what? TSM and Dig hasn't screamed in like a year. Literally a year. It's been a while. There's <laughs> eight Scar ready to bust out the AP Corgi. Dude, I've been hearing like pretty good things about it so far. I, I don't know whether or not it's just like. People are talking, but it's not really substantial, or whether or not it's an actual threat. But that's all I'm hearing. There's nothing happening with Kiwi and Patoy. Kiwi's viewers are, are stupid. <laughs> They're just like making random Reddit threads now. I don't care about the Reggie Dyrus thing. That's literally got overblown so much. Like, what? I don't understand. Happen <coughs> <coughs> uh the studio mic got taken away. I should really purchase a better mic though. Oh wow, okay, I got hard countered. Whew. Kale vs Zed is like the worst possible matchup for, Kale, uh, for Zed. Like, it's terrible. You have zero kill potential on Kale, except for like at level 4 with 4 pot or something. Strongest AP, AD carry you can play the AP, it's probably gonna be Ezreal or Corky. Stuff with actual decent range and escape mechanics as well as decent ratios. I'm running um, standard 21.9, but I'm running lifesteal this game on Quince instead of typical armor pet just because I'm going to try something out. Uh, no one's really picked up Fizz in North America, which I'm kind of grateful for. <coughs> I just feel like Fizz is like. I think Fizz is interesting. I think he's really bad 1v2 though, so I'm actually surprised more teams haven't tried 1v2ing him. 
but I guess it's mainly because Fizz is only counterpicked as on purple side, so you really don't have the option to 1v2 of you running, let's say, TF or something, or Ari, because they're just horrible 1v2s as well. So it's, I don't know, I think, I think it's possible to control Fizz picks to an extent, but I, I wouldn't know because I haven't played against good Fizz players. The bug is horrible. Uh, I mean, I would like Fizz play to be played more because Diana like hard counters Fizz. It's pretty funny. Oh god! <sighs> I wanted to try a shield start against a standard AP, but I'm pretty sure I'm forced to four pot here and go in. Yeah, 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 I am. Because Doran's shield doesn't really help me against Kale. It's like she's gonna kill me anyways. Or just like whittle me down, so I need to actually go for aggression. Differences between blue and purple side? Uh, there's a bunch of random stuff. Like, <coughs> when you're cutting in between turrets and try to cut this, this here, hugging this side, you can get hit on. Oh, uh, what was that? What are you guaranteed to get hit on? You're, you're guaranteed to get hit on, like, blue side, but on purple side, you don't get hit. If you ward here, you can't see the Wraith camp, but if you ward here, you can, or something something like that. It's like vice versa. I remember we tried dropping a hundred wards in both of these bushes to see if we could see the blue Wraith, or the Wraith camp at all, and, like, we couldn't on one of the sides, and we are just like, alright, this is, like, pretty ridiculous. Balance. <coughs> Fools, master. The heck? It's not a late stream, is it? Like in the afternoon? The truth lies in darkness. Uh, I should have run life steal against Kale. Pretty much against Kale. Um. I pretty much should have committed myself to going all in and run the armor pen. Because armor pen could be the difference, the like 30, 40, 50 damage difference I needed. Uh, probably in the miss. Okay, yeah, so they just start to eat. Okay, so they just start shoving the lane back. Not a big deal. I saved the shuriken for the last hit here. I could have looked to harass him though, but I, I wouldn't have the cooldown for the last hit, so I didn't even bother. <coughs> Actually, this guy's running. AP scaling, alright. I think he's 9 defense as well, I'm not positive. Alright. I, I can edge that. Uh, so, I have to play this pretty far back, to at least level 3. Level 3 is like, I may be all in potential. <coughs> alright, so he's using E right now on the wave, which means he's gonna start shoving. That really hit me, alright. Didn't space that correctly. This lane is pretty boring. You can go in, in between the cooldowns of her E. You have about like a 4 or 5 second window, but... Oh, okay, so you use some mana. Oh god, Kale didn't even run out of mana. I forgot, her E is like 20 mana. Alright. So she, she hit 3 before me. The only way I'm gonna get an all in against her that works is when the wave starts shoving in a little bit the other direction. Then she gets free harass on me under this turret, which means I'm gonna have to probably use at least one, if not two health pots. Oh, she messed up. She's not staying to harass me on the turret. Alright, that's good. Really, I didn't get that. Alright, whatever. Missed one under turret. That's pretty good. Two under turret. Just as I say that, God. Alright, that rest suck. Oh, wow, he's shoving. Alright. Not shoving, he's like down bot. I should have said something. I didn't realize he was. I actually did not expect him to go ganking there. I'm looking to cut. Fear 
Where'd she go? Okay, well, I, I was a little bit slow in the cut. Once, once I hit 3, 4 is the time where I can pretty much, pretty safely harass. Because... Without a sound. I don't think she can tr out trade. Yeah. She can. You're guaranteed the, the WE, and, and you're guaranteed the Q follow up if you're paying attention as well. Alright, so she W. Anytime she W's is really big for me, because that's a lot of mana actually that she uses. Please. Uh. I don't know if I had to flash for that that early. I, I had to wait for my auto attack for them to come up again. But it's okay. That's fine. I wouldn't have died even if he connected that because he didn't have, doesn't have buffs. So I'm not in any immediate danger right now. That was a really good gank by Dan though. Definitely give him props for that. So there's two ways to do this now, middle. I can typically Cutlass is always a better option, but I don't have money for Cutlass, so I'm just gonna go for Brute here and go back for Cutlass Bork. But yeah, Cutlass is almost always better. This the guaranteed CC when you go in, the extra hundred damage, like hundred damage is pretty high. It's like two autos from you, so I'm, I'm not surprised they lost. <coughs> Kaylin lanes, lanes are pretty brutal. But now that I have Brute and he only has 44 armor, I can look to play a little bit aggressive. Alright. So I, I kind of looked out there, I wasn't planning to go in when his, e, when his E was falling off, but I ended up doing it anyways, which let me let him not be able to retaliate. So his E's got 3 seconds, so I should go in pretty much now. Alright, I forced the flash there. He, so he has to back here. For sure. I'll just sub this in and look for another route. Top lane died. Box box didn't work. My top lane. Yeah, me didn't expect me to hit six. <coughs> I think I'm. I'm like cut off Leaf from coming in on the right. Alright, well, I can't cut him off, I guess. Back out now. I'm buying boots, actually. Do I need to back out? Nah, I don't. Heck. I'm just gonna wait for her E to go down again. One, two, three, four, here. Alright. That's all you have to do in this matchup, is just be very, very mindful of the E cooldown. Like, I got an advantage, so I lucked out, but as soon as she hits six, like, my all in, she can immediately turn and beat me down. So, I'm taking a advantage of the one window that I have to really push in a lot of damage. Pressure out of the lane, keep her as far behind as- oh god, she got blue. Alright, uh, I'm 7 to his 5. Alright. Problem is, there isn't- oh god, she hit 6. Alright, I'm kinda lucky she didn't turn on me there, because my ulti's still down. <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and back out, though. I knew she'd hit 6 soon, because blue XP is actually quite substantial. No I just wasn't sure when that soon was. My four pots were wearing out now, so my... Like, I kind of punished her for about as hard as I could have. Maybe I could have gotten the kill at 6 if I had ulti a small fraction of a second earlier, but... I don't think so. I played this lane pretty optimally. Um, maybe I could... I definitely could have roamed, though, when, when Winnow has been backing. But I decided to just stay in lane. She's only behind by like 10. That's not good. I wanted her to set her behind by more, especially with such a good gank that Dan gave me. Alright, so we lost blue. Or not blue, drag. <coughs> so she's really scared to play up on me. I think she doesn't really know how strong she is. So I'm pretty sure she could, she could take an ulti from me, just not like a lot of harass. Like what I'm about to do here, Alright, well, I missed the Q, so I'm literally useless for like a couple seconds. Oh god, I meant to edge only the middle one, but. I suck. Go ahead and hit that. Try to hit him as well. No, didn't work out. So I'm just last hitting that range for right now. I'm gonna move up right here, I think. Oh, 
god. Keep missing these shurikens. Bad skill shot. That's fine. I got both the Kanamini and the Harass on them, so that's good. Go ahead, Shuriken, these two. I do have Lifesteal Quin, so you see, I can sustain a little bit. Okay, so she already used her W here. I can... No, I can't. I don't even have... Whatchamacallit. What? I'm lagging right now. Huh. Move that to like 120. That's fine. Can I cut bot here? I can't even cut bot, dang. There's literally not much I can do in this situation. Like, please run. Oh wow, she didn't even go top. Alright. Yeah, well, I was confused. She literally... I thought... Because I think top was a better angle, but... He's had to play it safe and go for Wraith Camp. Alright, I'm probably gonna look for an all-in on mid pretty soon. On, on my next buy. Alright, I had to do that to get all the CS. Am I gonna get it all? Solid. Uh, her blue drop, so I'm definitely looking for an all-in after I, this shop. Because this shop will give me Cutlass, and I'll have both Cutlass Brute and pretty sizable CS advantage. And she hasn't shopped yet, so if I ke can keep her in lane somehow, we sh should be good. I haven't really bought much pots, because the way mid lane's playing out, Winnow's not, not being that aggressive on me, so I don't need, really need to buy much sustain. Especially now that I have Cutlass, I have what? How much lifesteal does it give? 12, 5, 6 percent, like 18 percent lifesteal? Like, that's pretty solid. Alright, that's CS. Xbox going to ward. Blue buff. And mid went back to buy. I'm pretty sure I can tell mid went back to buy. Oh, wow, he did it? Uh, I didn't flash here. Really? Alright, that's alright. That's surprising, because that. The way I thought he'd play would be that he'd back there, because I didn't really see a reason to s stay, but... Okay, well they got me, they got me, I played that bad. The shadows have enlightened me. Has been slain. I just autoing this, you see I'm not pressing E on it yet. Alright, what the heck. Please stop. Alright, looks like they're staying for me and camping this out, so... they play a little bit safe. She knows I want this. Oh my god, alright, well, I misjudged the range on that shuriken. I want to do some damage on Winnow here, though. Looking for an all-in. Oh, never mind, she backed. I was thinking about ulting that. God, I don't want to trade ultis. I'm pretty sure ulti is a lower cooldown. Pretty sure she's going to blue right now, and if I can get over this wall. Yeah. Brave the shadows. Did she I see me? I feel like this is ridiculously stupid. This is probably really stupid. Do not fear the shrouded path. Dang, alright, that didn't go anywhere. I should just shove mid. Yeah, what the heck? I was trying. Uh, she did see me, and I shouldn't have expected that she did it. That's just like, uh, I don't know. Expecting your opponent to play worse is like the dumbest thing. Go ahead, shove. <coughs> should be able to. Do a lot of damage to this. Maybe even take this. With three bot. We know is she is she coming mid? I think she had to back after blue. Ooh, I took a tower hit there. All right, that's fair. Well, I'm actually pretty surprised. God, I'm not doing a good job roaming this game. Honestly, I should be putting more pressure on the bot lane. Secrets kept our weapons wasted. That's just with the kind of lead that I got. I'm collapsing for this one. Oh, he's not going in? Alright. I'm looking then. 
balances weakness. Your turret has been destroyed. I'm actually gonna go ahead and kill this green. And they, they, they know I'm here off this, but it's fine. Don't really care. I got like 100 health off it too. <coughs> He's not gonna stay, like... <coughs> I don't think... I didn't think he'd stay, but wow, he's cutting in a really silly direction. What? Breathe the shadows. Oh my god, I wasn't in range for that. Alright, whatever. That was pretty silly. Six seconds though. We, we, can, we should be able to get this. Okay. Oh wow, reforcing? I don't know about this. Wow, I keep missing these cues. Holy sh. Oh my god, Dan. Holy shit, he canceled his own ulti. Alright, we're out of here. Oh, please, dear god, that was bad. I don't even know if he can contest this. Yeah, Dan got chunked there. Oh my god, no one stopped that for him either. Alright. Dan's dead, maybe? What I have done cannot be undone. Wow, there's a lot of people low here. Okay, well. Kill Janna. And my ulti's up in 8. 5, 4, 3, 2. Oh my god, please. Oh my. That mini stun caused my auto to not go off. I missed the kill. Holy shit, I'm bad at this game. Alright. I got Bork though. Uh, I should have just ultied the ribbon immediately, but I thought my auto would go off before because I wanted the guaranteed kill and then the the ulti, but I guess that's really greedy. Because if I ultied and then uh, eed, I would have also been able to get it. But God, I don't know, because the, the my ulti gives like a half second time for the kill the ulti. I wanted to like literally give her immediately. Oh, I know I played that wrong. My shuriken accuracy is pretty bad recently. What's top lane doing? Level 12, 13, 135. He's actually not doing too bad. Like, that's not awful. Go ahead and ward here. Haunting mercs. Oh, yeah, mercs for fiddle. That makes sense. Oh, but wait. A second. No technique. <laughs> Played that wrong. I know. I'm pretty sure I know the ulti timer. On kill ulti, it is not up yet. Like, I'm pretty positive. I could have. I'm gonna look to, to punish this. All right. Well, never mind. Retarded. I guess it is up. Holy shit. They have energy for a Q. Kel Kelty is really short. God. Alright, I'm running. Not a big deal. Why are there three collapse in mid though? That's pretty nuts. Well, even though it failed, I'm glad I went for it. Because that's what solo key like. That's what I use solo key for. To see if I can do stuff like that. I was off by about five energy from the kill. Uh, meaning that I probably could have just. I had not shuriken here and just waited for him to ulti himself. Pretty sure I could have gone in afterwards. Or not Bork them, sorry. Because I could have just slowed them after Bork. Okay, I'm just gonna clear this again. Maybe not. The truth lies in darkness. Are they still going? Holy sh Oh, 
Oh, let's not chase. That's not worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and step on this, though. He's low. I'm actually curious to see if she's put points in the W. Because typically, a lot of times, kill actually puts two points. Just so, if she's taking heavy harass. And she's kind of done that in the lane. Yeah, yeah, okay. She's played it to two. Makes sense. I'm gonna shove while she go, goes and does race. All she's been doing is farming race. Oh god, that's bad. Oh, Kale is such a cock block. Like, Kale is. Oh god, I hate playing against Kill. Uh, CS wise, doing pretty well. Oh, actually, yeah, if you find the place, I'm down. How many Brooks do you have on this team? Three? Solid. Excellent item. Why did two people mid? Went to slow him. Oh wow, okay, well, my shuriken sucks. There are, this guy has been walking around me a lot. No technique is forbidden. God, cause she's got level 2 W and a little bit of AP now, it's like impossible to stick harass on her, cause look, she heals for 120, she's gonna do that twice between my ro rotations, and I'm gonna, eventually my net damage is like, what, 50, it's so pretty silly. Alright, I'm just... It's in the back for Last Whisperer, there's no point staying at the moment. Maybe I could shove this wave one more time, but... It's like, not a big difference. Not even the buy health pot. Oh, wow. Whew! Oh! Oh my god, I thought MF was gonna make the, a play, but that was not it. Whatever. She tried though. It lo it looked- it was gonna look good, but it just didn't. The problem about being ahead is I, I did a poor job of warding while ahead this game. Can I break this? I think maybe. Alright, maybe not. I probably should have expected Janet to be there. A little bit too greedy on my point. What I want to do now? It's pretty much 3 AD. I could go a tabby here, cause, but I think it's better for me to just go mobility boots and then loop back around for the maybe Rand. Honestly, Randuit's is so, super solid here. Typically, I always look for GA, but Randuit's is just so good. All right, let's go for that then. Because Randuit even works against their mid, because their mid scales off attack speed. So, I just don't see... It's not, not a problem if I don't get MR as long as I... Oh boy, I'm on my way. This damage, though? Oh, sh... We can bear it. If you wanted to. No, no, no. I guess not with Lee Sin. Just break the turret. Oh, This guy is crazy for staying at it. Like, I'm serious. Him staying at the turret is nuts. I'm surprised we didn't jump on that. Please. Yeah. Oh, God, please don't die. Oh. Well. That's fine, we got two. Kinda worth, yeah, I'm kinda with you on that. Just keep going, what the heck? Don't even worry about the other stuff, like, we can, we, we should be able to kill Kaelin immediately. Yeah. I kind of didn't use my energy correctly there, but luckily Flash saved me. Just keep attacking. 
attack moving in and out. I'm gonna go wheel down for their blue buff and the relation back for top. Thresh is doing some good damage control over there. So right now I just go back and buy a cleaver. Take their blue first though. <coughs> Maybe even take drag. Whew. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take drag. I shouldn't be scared of Janna, but I kind of want to bait her to see if if she comes bot after that, I can just ult her in like 10 seconds. I guess I should have stayed on and just wait my whole ulti duration out. A little bit slow. I'm gonna go ahead and back out and buy Cleaver. I'll buy Cleaver and then I don't have enough to finish off my random. I'll get the I'll get the second cloth armor though. And this is all these these are literally all the items that needs. He just needs these three damage items and then you're down to build. You're, you're like you can just build full uh, defensive items. You don't really need anything else. Like I probably go random into a GA and then I'm unkillable. And I'll also one shot anyone on their team. Oh my god, please! Oh, I'm such a bad player. Alright, I hit the trap. <laughs> Rather than being able to kill Kale, I hit the trap. God, I suck. I only got one. What I have done cannot be undone. The only one I'm kind of scared about is Riven. Aside from that, no one really else. Ulti in four seconds. Alright, I'm not gonna go in for that. Alright, well, Box Box is there. That damage? Hold. Just kill Box Box, like, and then go for the other guys, yep. Yeah, the thing about uh, Riven's build is that it's super squishy. Like, she just looks really threatening, she does a lot of damage, but that's not a reason to run away. Like, that's. It's super easy to burst her down, like a Fiddle Fear or any of that stuff. I got Randoids. I actually thought I could have killed them here, but then Riven showed up. I was like, alright, well, I suck. Uh, so this game's pretty much over, like... There's really not much of a way they can recover this game, because their team comp just isn't that great. We're not super far ahead right now. Actually, actually yeah, we are. Wow. But even if we weren't, like, their team comp does, isn't, like, one that can come back, because it's 280-centric. At this mo moment, yeah, so she's going for randoms as well. We already have a, an hourglass, this guy's now. Try to catch most of the sash. A little looping. Alright, GG. Peace and game. What? Alright, well, I have an error for it. Just give me my LP, that's all I want. I got, I got one. Dang, alright. Solid, whatever, it's okay. I'm gonna go play some ads, I'll be right back.